Hey everyone, in today's app of the day video, I wanna show you this app called Marco Polo. It's a messaging app, mainly a video messaging app, but it's very unique in the way that it works. Unlike other messaging apps where you video chat with someone and the other person has to be there, it's almost like a phone call with video implemented. This is a little bit different. This is almost like walkie talkie for video chat. So the other person doesn't have to be there or the group that you're having a message with doesn't have to be there. Nobody has to be there on the other side. You can basically record your message as if it's live. And then when that other person becomes available, they could click and listen to your message and reply with their own video. So it's very unique in that way. So I really wanted to make this video to show you how to use this app. Again, the app is called Marco Polo. It's available for iPhone devices and Android devices. So go ahead and download it in the App Store or the Google Play Store and let me open the app and I'll show you exactly how to use it. Now this app is not really a social media like you're used to where you meet strangers. It's intended to have communication with people you already know on your contact list or if you know their phone number, you could invite them. So it requires your phone number here in order to use the app and you could choose your area code. It's available in many, many countries here from the area code. I'm in the US, I'm gonna type in my number and I'm gonna verify my phone number here. And it's gonna ask you to get access to your camera and to your microphone. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Again, this is a video chat app, so I have to allow it to do that. And now we're inside of the app. So let me show you exactly what you're looking at here. In the middle here, it's gonna be all the different groups. So you could create groups. So for example, if you have a family group, you could only have family members in there. If you have a co-working group, you could have that. If you have a friends group, you could have that. And you could just create as many groups as you like. And inside of any one of those groups, you could add actually up to 200 people at the time that I'm recording this. So you could either allow access to your contact. I didn't do that just so I don't have to blur a lot of information here but you should give it access to your contact and it'll pull all the contacts here. And it's gonna have some default groups like the family group here, and I could go ahead and add people to that. But I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. I'll show you some other options. So underneath, you have just three simple options, chat, contacts, and settings. So right now I'm in the chat window. If I go to the contact window, I could give it access again to all my contacts on this phone, and it's gonna pull everybody that has Marco Polo and then everybody else that doesn't have Marco Polo and have a little invite next to it where I could invite people. I could always press invite via link as well and it's gonna give you a Marco Polo link that I could share with other people again via email or text message and they could add themselves here to Marco Polo. And you have settings on the bottom. Again, it's gonna give you your phone number and your name that you have. You could click that and you could come to this page and you could edit that information. And you could also turn on notifications here, read more about your account setting, you could delete your account here, your privacy options. You could explore the settings on your own. Let me go back to the chat window here. And on the chat window now on top, you have chats and you have suggested. If I go to suggested and this had information from my contacts, it's gonna give me everybody's information. Now I didn't give it access, so I'll have to press plus to add someone. And I could add someone again from my contacts or entering their phone number. So if I enter someone's phone number, if they have Marco Polo already, it's gonna be easier. If they don't, it's gonna send them an invite link to download Marco Polo and join that way. So you could do it that way. And you have the search option too. You could search right here from all the contacts that you created here. So that's the layout of the app, but let me show you exactly how the video portion of the app, the messaging portion works. I'll jump into this family group. So now I'm inside the video chat portion of the app. So I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. And it's called recording a polo, the message you record for someone else that's called a polo. So it says start and then ask how things are going. So I'm gonna press start. Hey, just recording this as a test and I'll press stop. Now that's right there on the bottom. So when the other person that I've invited to my family group joins the app, they're gonna see that. So other things I could do on this page besides starting and stopping. So I could anytime start and stop and it'll create a new clip here as you could see on the bottom. I have this unicorn, if I press that, I could add filters. There's a bunch of different filters that you could apply to yourself here. Let me go back, that's pretty straightforward. You have voice effects, so you could change your voice from robot to macho to helium to normal. And then you also have text, so you could type text here and press done, and then people will see your text. You could change the color of the text. Again, very useful option there. And you could doodle, basically allowing you to draw something or write something with handwriting. So I'll go ahead and undo that doodle right here. And let me go back. 
and you have just a note section here so you could leave a note and then send that note and then you can see you have your videos on the bottom that you've recorded and now you have note two so that's very useful if you can't record a little video and you could go ahead and rotate your camera here if you want to record what you're looking at in front of you if you have a two camera option like I have here on the iPhone. So now when you recorded something on the bottom, you could press and hold on it and you could see you could save it. You could set it as a reminder. You can mark it on watch. You have the more option here where you could bookmark it. So a bunch of different options you have on each one of these on the bottom where you could change any of those. You could always delete them as well. So I'll delete this one, for example. And if the other person hasn't seen it, they won't be able to see it now that I've deleted it. So now when the other person jumps into this family, they could see all the different things that I have recorded on the bottom, including notes, doodles, videos, all the different clips, they could play it. And then when they play it, they could go ahead and reply to me whenever they get this message. So that's the unique thing about this app is the fact that nobody has to be there at the same time. One person could record a message like a walkie talkie and when the other person receives it, they could reply. I'm gonna give this app a solid five out of five on my review because it does solve the problem of a typical video chat where both people or the group has to be available in order to get the video chat started. This is basically like walkie talkie built into a video chat. It's very, very unique and very useful. I haven't seen another app like this, so I'm gonna give it a solid five out of five. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for easy to follow app of the day videos, and I'll catch you next time.